today we're making stuffed bell peppers not any regular stuffed bell peppers we're making the most delicious flavorful wholesome dinner okay before i show you guys how to make it please take a quick moment to subscribe if you're new and let's get started all right guys to begin you have to preheat your oven on 375 so let's do it all right Perfect. Now we are going to prep our bell peppers. Make sure you find large size bell peppers. First thing first, you see how this one is leaning. We're going to kind of like cut the bottom of it. So now it's even so it can sit nice and proper. Now we're going to cut the top just like this and remove the core in the seeds of course we don't want that just remove that set it aside now you have your bell pepper nice and ready so i'm going to do it for this one as well you see it's leaning i hit that so that's the way i try to now we're going to cut the top Just like this shake 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 and it's out okay perfect I'm going to remove this and there you go all right now that we have our bell peppers nice and cut we are going to place them into this baking dish so we can bake it Now we're not cooking the bell peppers, we're just going to remove the raw taste. So we're going to bake it for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to dice these up. These are going into our ground beef. Don't waste them, don't throw them away. They're still good. So I'm going to dice them up just like this. Now this recipe, whatever vegetable you can find in your fridge, you can pretty much just add them in there because it'll be super packed with flavor and nutrients. We also going to be adding some white onion. Onions taste really good with this recipe. I'm using white onion. You can use whatever onion pretty much. Just dice it up just like this. Also, we got some zucchini. We're going to add in as well. Like I said, this is packed with flavor, okay? Healthy. If you pick like a lean ground beef, you can do it with turkey as well. You know, you can prep this ahead of time. Delicious. I have my skillet on medium high heat. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil, about two to three tablespoons. Then I'm going to add in my veggies. So we're using about a cup of all the veggies mixed together. You don't wanna add too, too much, okay? That's perfect. We're going to saute the veggies until they're nice and soft. Now that the veggies are nice and translucent, I am going in with my ground beef. This is 90%, well, it's lean, 90% lean, not too, too, too fatty. So I'm going to start breaking the ground beef with my wooden spoon before it starts to cook, you know? Just break it as soon as you add it into your skillet. The bell peppers have been baking for 10 minutes now. It's time to take them out. Like I said, we was not trying to cook them just to make them nice and soft. So this is what they looking like. Some people boil them, you know, baking it. It's easier for me since I'm gonna use the oven anyways. So I just bake it 
As you can see, the ground beef has a lot of water, produce a lot of water. We're going to drain that water before we start seasoning it. Here we have one cup of white rice, cooked rice going in before we season it. Also, we got about half tablespoon of minced garlic going in. And to season, we have a few seasoning here, which will be listed down below. As always, we have some celery salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. We have Creole seasoning, dry parsley, you know, all the good stuff. Now we're going to give that a quick mix, just like this. Also, we have some double U sauce. We're going to add in for a nice flavor. Give it a mix. It's looking good. Honestly, if you want, you can eat this by itself. You don't even have to stuff the bell peppers with it. Y'all, this smells so good right now. I am going in with some cheese. We got some mozzarella cheese going in. That looks so delicious. So just give it a mix, just like this. Ooh, that looks good. Just give it a mix just like this, y'all. It smells so good. And I know it's gonna taste as good as it looks, as good as it smells. Look at that, perfect. It smells so good. I gotta give it a taste before we start stuffing them bell peppers, okay? Ooh, give it a try. So hot. That's what I'm talking about. No more seasoning needed, period. Okay, let's stuff these bell peppers. The bell peppers sweat as they bake. Be sure to kind of drain the water before you add in your stuffing because you will ruin the flavor with the water inside the bell peppers. So now, I'm going to add in my stuffing into my bell peppers. You can add a little bit of cheese in between if you want, if you like it very cheesy. Honestly, like I said, you can eat this by itself. You can add more rice to just even everything out. And yeah going to add some in here, add a little bit more cheese, make it nice and cheesy when we cut through it so it can be nice. Give us that cheese pull we're looking for. Stuff it, okay? <laughs> Don't forget about that. You gotta really stuff that bell pepper. Add some cheese. Stuff it. I love me some bell peppers, some stuffed bell peppers. Perfect meal. And honestly, the rice is optional if you're looking, if you're trying not to eat carbs or, you know, stay away from carbs. You can add some, I don't know, some other stuff in here. Add some more in here. Now we can add some cheese on top. So we can bake it. It's not going to bake for too long because it's everything's pretty much cooked. You just want the cheese to, to melt. Now we bake it again for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. All right guys, our bell peppers are done and they are looking absolutely delicious. Take a quick look.
Are you guys ready for the moment of truth? Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. I don't know if it's the bell peppers, but it just smells so good. Take a good look at this. Ooh, it is hot, y'all. You see this? It is steaming hot. All right, let's try it. Oh. I really did something with these bell peppers. They were tasting absolutely delicious, y'all. And I love how the bell pepper is not fully, fully cooked. It's nice and sweet with that little crunchiness to it. Oh, just perfect. Perfect. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, these are bomb. Delicious, okay? Y'all gotta try these out because these delicious okay try them out and let me know what you think thank you so much for watching today's video guys let me know down below if you're going to try these out and when you make your bell peppers what do you add to it let me know thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next recipe bye guys